Buckle up, buttercups, because it's going to be a bumpy ride. Okay, um, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Okay, oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, uh, disclaimer, uh, if you haven't seen Multiverse of Madness, don't watch this video. Because in this video, I'm going to explain the plot holes, plot conveniences, and the bullshit stupid that is inherent within this movie. If you have seen Multiverse of Madness and you like Multiverse of Madness, don't watch this video. Because in this video, I'm going to explain the plot holes, the plot conveniences, the, the bullshit stupid, the hack, lazy ass bullshit writing that is necessary for this movie to actually, you know, progress. Okay. Um, now, before I get to, to the heart of the movie, there's uh, some aspects of the movie, overall movie I want to cover. Uh, first off, it's like, I, I thought the, the, the plot and the premise for No Way Home was, was incredible, was pathetically weak. The, pre the plot and premise for uh, Multiverse of Madness is, 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 is uh, more pathetic than No Way Home. Because, because he, 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 here, here's the premise and plot, okay? For multiverse of madness. Wanda, okay, is corrupted by the Darkhold. Okay, she gets the powers of the Darkhold, is corrupted by the Darkhold to go to another universe and take care of somebody else's kids. That, 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 that's, that's the corrupting power of the Darkhold, boys and girls. Those are the stakes in this movie. The stakes in this movie are Wanda wants to go to another universe and take care of somebody else's kids. Now the movie realizes that that's pathetic. That 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 that, 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 that nobody's going to care. So what this movie does is pretend or it has like uh, Doctor Strange and Wong go, "Oh, the 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 Scarlet Witch it has the ability to realter reality. Uh, the Scarlet Witch is prophesized to either rule or destroy the multiverse. Things, the things that Wanda actually tells Doctor Strange and Wong, she has no interest in whatsoever. Wanda, Scar the Scarlet Witch actually tells Wong, I have no interest in ruling. All I want is to go to another universe and take care of somebody else's kids. Like, 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 the, like the movie tries to go out of its way to portray Scarlet Witch as this multiversal threat, but she's not. She literally admits she's not and has no intention. And it's like, oh, well, the Darkhold will corrupt her. Yeah, the Darkhold already did corrupt her. The Darkhold corrupted Wanda to become the Scarlet Witch to go to another universe and take care of somebody else's kids. That's how the Darkhold corrupted Wanda as, as into the Scarlet Witch. Okay, I, 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 it's pathetic. <laughs> oh, and, and then we have the fact that the kids, the the, the the kids in the other universe. This this is to this. I love this. Because this helps establish the bullshit, lazy, hack writing of this movie, okay? Because the movie purposely leaves those kids, the explanation of those kids, ambiguous, okay? Because guess what? <clears throat> those kids don't work. Those kids don't work. Because let's say those kids, because there's only two options of those, of those kids. One, they were magically created. Okay, by that variant Wanda, or two, they're real. Okay, so let's go that they're magically created by that variant Wanda. Well, then why the hell would Scarlet Witch want to go to another universe and take care of somebody else and take care of a variant Wanda's magically created kids when Wanda can do that herself? Wanda, before she had the power of the Darkhold, Already create, already magically created her kids. Well, if she did it once, she could do it again. And considering she now has the power of the dark hole, 
She could easily create her own magically created kids. So there's literally no reason to go to another universe and take care of a variant one that's magically created kids. That's why this movie purposely tries to not explain how those kids exist. Because the most likely explanation, okay, that we could possibly uh, relate to, you know, from WandaVision and what we already know is that those kids by that variant Wanda are also magically created kids. Well, if they're magically created kids, why is Wanda going to another multi universe to take care of a variant Wanda's magically created kids? That doesn't make any sense. So that, so the movie has to not explain how those kids exist because then that invalidates Wanda even doing it in the goddamn first place. But let's say they're real. Okay, let's say they're real. You've now established that Wanda can have kids. Well, if Wanda can have kids, why would she go to another universe and take care of some of a variant Wanda's kids when she can have her own kids? Here, here's plan B, Wanda. Okay. Plan A is go to plan A, okay, is capture Chavez, use her powers to go to another universe and take care of somebody else's kids. Or plan B, plan B, get laid, get pregnant, and have your own actual real kids. Well, no, you can't do that because that would work. That would make sense. Then you wouldn't actually have a plot to this movie. That is how forced and weak and pathetic the very foundation of this plot is, okay? But it, it, it gets better. It gets better. Just, just from the start of this movie, okay? Because there is so much stuff that is like, what the hell is going on, okay? <clears throat> because here's the, here's the thing about this movie, okay? You cannot have conscious, you cannot have any type of conscious thought while watching this movie. Because if you have any type of conscious thought, you will be going, that doesn't make sense. That doesn't work. That doesn't make sense. How does that work? Nothing makes sense. I, I, as an example, the beginning of the movie, okay? You have that monster chasing Ponytail Doctor Strange and Chavez, okay? We end up finding out that Wanda was the one that sent the monster. How? How, did, how does Wanda have the ability to create a monster, teleport that monster to another universe or another reality to chase Chavez? Because if she has the ability to teleport a monster to another reality, why not just teleport yourself? You don't need Chavez. You didn't need Chavez to get that monster to that, to, to that other reality. How did that monster get, how did Wanda get that monster to the other reality to chase Chavez in the goddamn first place? Oops. Oops. Okay. Like, 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 like the, literally how this movie starts and, 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 I, and I love how the movie goes, oh, it was sent by a demon. Yes, technically, the Scarlet Witch is a demon. But the thing is, it's still Scarlet Witch. The Scarlet Witch sent the monster to another universe. How? Well, the movie can't explain that because the movie has no goddamn idea how. And if the movie tries to explain, you'd be going, well, then why the hell does Wanda need Chavez for to expand on that, uh, it's even worse because let's say that Wanda didn't, you know, create the monster in the on, on MCU Earth and then transported it to the the universe where uh, Chavez is. Well, the only other option is Wanda conjured up the monster in another universe. Well. That establishes that the Scarlet Witch's powers can be can traverse the multiverse. 
which makes her even more powerful. And if the Scarlet Witch's magic can traverse the multiverse, why even bother sending a monster to capture Chavez? Just use the magic that can traverse the multiverse to just capture Chavez and transport her to you. Because even going by that original plan, once the monster captured Chavez, what was supposed to happen next? Well, Wanda would have had to have transported the monster and Chavez to the MCU Earth to Wanda. Either way, you're establishing the ability to transport between universes. Well, if Wanda has the ability to transport between universes, why would you need Chavez in the goddamn first place? Then we have the fact that Ponytail Doctor Strange and Chavez are running to the Book of Ashanti and they're being chased by the monster. Why? Why? Use your sling ring and you could have portaled to the, to the Book of Ashanti because Later on, at, near the end, at the uh, near the end of the movie, right when Doctor Strange, you know, dream walks and takes over the the dead ponytail Doctor Strange, what's the first thing he does? The dead pony, the dead ponytail Doctor Strange uses his sling ring to create a portal, meaning that the doc that the ponytail Doctor Strange has a sling ring and could have portaled to the book of Vishanti. But if the if, but if ponytail Doctor Strange portaled to the book of Vishanti, he would have gotten to the book of Vishanti and the movie would have been over in the first two minutes. Like, do you understand the level of bullshit that is inherent in this movie? And this is just the first 30 seconds of the movie. Just the first 30 seconds of the movie requires bullshit, stupid plot holes and plot conveniences just to get the movie started. But then we have it that we have Ponytail Doctor Strange and Chavez running to the Book of Vishanti with the monster on their ass. And I'm going, okay, what, what's your plan? What, a, Doctor Str a Ponytail Doctor Strange... Once you actually get to the Book of Vashanti, what's your plan? Tell the monster, uh, excuse me, could you just hold on for a second while I get the book and try and figure out how to actually stop you? No, it's not going to happen. So even if Do even a ponytail Doctor Strange got to the Book of Vashanti, he wouldn't have been able to use it anyway because he would have either been busy trying to uh, contain the, the monster or the monster would have killed him. But the, so, so the movie doesn't actually have to worry or explain what Ponytail Doctor Strange's plan was because it was never going to be able to use it anyway. <clears throat> so then we have Ponytail Doctor Strange, you know, uh, uh, trying to contain the monster and then goes, uh, uh, goes, OK, plan B, I have to take Chavez's power because Doctor Strange goes, I can control it. How does he know? How does he know? That, that's one of the things that I love about this movie is that people say things without any actual explanation or justification on how they could possibly know this stuff because the movie has no goddamn clue on how to actually explain it and, does, and, and so just doesn't bother. Like with Wanda. When, when Wanda's talking to, uh, you know, Doctor Strange and accidentally lets, uh, let, uh, slips out that she knows about Chavez. How the hell does Wanda know about Chavez? The movie has no goddamn clue. No goddamn clue. So what do they do instead? They just ignore it. How does Wanda know about Chavez's power? The movie has no goddamn clue how Wanda could possibly know about Chavez. The movie has no goddamn clue on how Wanda could even know about Chavez's power. So what does the movie do? They just ignore it and hope for the best. And hope, again, basically relying on the fact that 
either hoping that the audience doesn't notice, and if the audience does notice, they, the audience doesn't care. And guess what? You didn't, did you? And not only that, even if Doctor Strange does get the power, okay, does absorb her power, that's not going to stop Wanda from sending, or the monster that's there, from taking the power from, from capturing Doctor Strange and bringing her and bringing him to Wanda anyway. <clears throat> Even if Ponytail Doctor Strange, okay, absorbs the power, okay, of Chavez into himself, so what? The, instead of the monster chasing Chavez, the monster's just going to try and capture Doctor Strange. Because after all, all you got to do to render Doctor Strange uh, 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 irrelevant or helpless is tie his arms together. Because when the when the giant octopus, right, wraps Wong in, in, in its tentacles and wraps Doctor Strange in its tentacles, they can't use their magic. So who cares? Who cares? But uh, so a, a better plan would have been because <clears throat> because the monster is after Chavez's power, the best way to actually stop, uh, you know, Wanda is to kill Chavez. The ponytail Doctor Strange was ready, was ready and willing to take her power and kill her. Okay, skip the skip the actual taking the power part. Just kill her. Just kill her. And 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 the, and the movie's over. Like this movie. Would have if this but they can't have the movie do that because that would work that would make sense if, if, and if the movie did that the movie would have been over in the first after after three minutes this movie should have literally have been a three minute movie where <clears throat> they're being chased by the monster the uh, Doctor Strange is trying to contain the monster realizes that he can't contain it turns to Chavez blasts her head off and goes, okay, done, it's over. And the movie would have been done. Because it's not like you need to drain Chavez's power to be able to kill her, okay? That's just an after effect. Doc, Ponytail Doctor Strange can just create like a magical bolt of energy, blow her head off, that kills Chavez, that causes the unique power that she has. Because remember, she's the only one in the entire multiverse. There's no other Chavez. It, there's no variant Chavez. She's the only one. If you kill Chavez, which Ponytail Doctor Strange was ready and willing to do, if you kill Chavez, you eliminate the very reason Wanda wants Chavez in the first place. You eliminate the entire premise of Sha of Wanda's plan. You literally, if you kill Chavez, which again, the ponytail Doctor Strange was ready and willing to do. If you kill Chavez, Wanda's plan is done. But no, you gotta hide. <laughs> I, I, like how do you, how can you pot? Like how how do you fans of this movie? take this movie seriously at all at all like like taking taking multiverse of madness seriously is like taking the sharknado movie seriously okay so then right chavez ends up creating the the portal and she gets sent through the the monster you know conveniently doesn't but chavez and doctor strange or ponytail doctor strange go through the portal and they both arrive on Earth. Now, this is important. Okay, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to jump a bit because I have to go back and forth because this is why uh, Chavez and Doctor Str and Ponytail Doctor Strange going through the portal and both arriving on Earth is a plot hole. Okay, so again, Ponytail Doctor Strange, right? Chavez goes through. Ponytail Doctor Strange, like ten seconds later, ends up going through the exact same portal. What happens? They both arrive at the exact same uh, alternate or uh, our Earth, Earth 616. Okay? Okay? So the movie has established that the portal, okay, only goes to one specific destination. So when, when you saw the flashback, okay, of Chavez as a kid and she, uh, and she creates the portal, 
and her parents go through, and then 10 seconds later, she goes through. Guess what, boys and girls? They should have arrived at the exact same place. Even her backstory, even Chavez's backstory requires bullshit to actually happen, actually work. Then, then we get to the ending. Okay. Again, I apologize that I have to jump, but this, this, this is the stupid in this movie literally goes, uh, you know, uh, leapfrogs throughout the movie. Then at the end of the movie, when Chavez can somehow now control her powers, right? Does she go and try and find her parents? No. Nah. She's going to stay at a at, at, at camaraderie and decide to become a, a sorcerer. Why? She has the power. For the last couple of years, she's been wandering the universes. Fine. I thought she wanted her parents. I thought she wanted to find her parents. And then when she finally has the ability to control it, does she go find her parents? Well, no. That would make sense. And the movie has no intention of doing that. Because the movie needs Chavez to stay in the MCU. It's... <sighs> then we have Chavez on MCU Earth, right? And for some reason, there's a giant one-eyed octopus chasing uh, Chavez. And I'm going, why? Why? Obvi for some reason, somehow... Okay, Wanda is able to track Chavez, okay, not only uh, when she arrives on Earth, but is able to, you know, uh, track her through the multiverse. So Chavez is now on MCU Earth. But now, now that Chavez is on the MCU Earth, why would Wanda need to send a monster to go after Chavez? Just go yourself. If you could teleport the giant one-eyed octopus, why not just go yourself? Teleport, tell you knew where Chavez was. Teleport yourself to Chavez, cast some type of binding spell, take her and teleport her back to wherever you were, wherever you were in the in the in the in the, 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 the orchard forest. Done. I don't want to cover, I, I don't want to try. I'm going to try to avoid doing all the little things because, again, there's tons of little things. And I only want to cover the big stuff and the stuff that I like. But there's this one little thing that, I, that was just hilarious. It was uh, with the motorcycle. So you got the giant – again, you have this giant uh, one-eyed octopus in the middle of the street. Everybody's clean. And for some reason – for some reason – this guy coming down the street, driving the motorcycle, drives straight to the giant octopus. Like, why? How, like, how did you, how, how did the guy in the motorcycle drive up and didn't notice this giant octopus in the middle of the road? But they, and, and again, for, su for such a stupid reason, just so that the giant octopus could grab the motorcycle, throw it at the, uh, the the cape so that it could capture the cape. Why? The, like, like, like there wasn't enough cars and debris around. The movie, the, the movie has some moron drive right to... <laughs> You take this movie seriously. And, and here, here's the best part. So the whole point of this moron, okay, driving towards or, or, or riding towards the giant octopus just so that the giant octopus can grab the motorcycle, throw it at uh, the cape, and then I think it's like on the fire escape. And apparently, apparently, right, the cape is now pinned by the motorcycle and can't help save Chavez. Except about a couple of minutes later, right? During you see uh, Wong and Doctor Strange fighting the uh, the giant octopus. You go back to uh, the the cape, and all of a sudden the cape pushes the motorcycle and goes out. Well, 
What? Why didn't the cape do that in the beginning? Like, the movie is trying to establish that the cape is pinned by the motorcycle, and then when the mo when the movie now needs the cape to be free, the cape goes, oh, okay, how about I just push the motorcycle and then go out? <laughs> Again, I know it's a little thing, but it's 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 it's, it's to help emphasize the bullshit writing, and it's like no, I the writers have no clue what they're doing. They're making this up as they go along. I, 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 again, seriously, I know it's a little thing, <clears throat> but if the cape is supposed to be pinned by the motorcycle and is stuck, how is it? Like, how 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 am I supposed to take this movie seriously? How are you supposed to take any of the threats? Seriously, because this movie goes out of its way. <laughs> Whatever. So now the monster's dead, right? Okay, fine. Send another one, Wanda. Just because Doctor Strange killed the one giant one-eyed octopus, send two this time. Send three. Send five. Send, send different minions. Send a whole bunch of warriors. Like, it, it, for some reason... She could only send the one, because again, she sent the one in the other universe, okay? When when Chavez uh, escaped that one, what did Wanda do? Immediately send, send another one. Okay, so this one gets killed. Send another one. Send two. But you can't have the movie. The movie can't do that because that would work. That would make sense. This, this is... There's literally no reason Wanda couldn't send another monster or a different monster or a dot. Because if she can teleport one, why can't she teleport three? Why can't she teleport five? Why can't she teleport a, a different type of uh, minion or whatever? Because, because the movie goes, no, now we need to have Wanda. Uh, we, now we need to have Doctor Strange get to know Chavez. It's just... It's, it's just so pathetic. Then we have, you know, Dr. Strange, Wong, and Chavez chatting, right? And Chavez mentions about the Book of Ashanti. And <sighs> Dr. Strange says the Book of Ashanti isn't real. And the movie actually has Wong go, Actually, the Book of Vishanti is real. One of the things you learn when you become Sorcerer Supreme is about the Book of Vishanti. Hey, movie, I hate to break it to you, but Doctor Strange used to be a Sorcerer Supreme. Meaning, if Wong found out about the Book of Vishanti when he got the mantle of Sorcerer Supreme, Shouldn't Doctor Strange have received that same information when he got the mantle, Sorcerer Supreme? Oops! <laughs> like, did the writers of this movie not watch uh, Doctor Strange? Did they not real? I, I did, did. Did the writers of these of this movie not realize that Doctor Strange actually was? So just, just because he's not the Sorcerer Supreme anymore doesn't mean he used to be. I just, again, a small thing. But it's I, I, again, it's, it's like, I, I, how, how do you ignore this? How do you see this and not go, this doesn't make sense, movie. Like, this doesn't work. Whatever. Then we have, you know, Juan going, oh, did you notice the uh, the runes on it? It's obviously witchcraft. And then that leads Dr. Strange to Wanda. And they're having the discussion. And Wanda does the oopsie and goes, oh, you never mentioned Chavez. And again, I already covered how does Wanda know Chavez exists? How does Wanda know Chavez has the power? And then she's going like, and then she explains her plan. And it's like, yeah, even the movie even the movie has Doctor Strange go, Wanda, your kids are were made by magic, and and, and th th this this is the brilliant bullshit of this movie. Okay, to actually because the movie knows 
that the kids are actual magic and don't actually exist, to try and uh, gloss over it, Wanda goes, oh, that's what every mother does. Like that, that's, that's how every mother creates kids. Boo, no, it's not. No, it's not, Wanda. I, I, I don't know if you, I don't know if you were, I don't know if you were taught the birds and the bees. Okay. But, you know, when, 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 when women get pregnant, there's no incantations necessary. There's no Ouija boards required. There's no pentagrams. There's no calling on magic. Okay. It's an actual, natural, biological thing. It's no, it doesn't actually require magic. But again, the movie knows that it doesn't work. This is the movie admitting to you, the audience, that this is a bullshit plot, that this is a bullshit premise. And it's pretending and it's trying to gloss over it as if and then just try and walk it off. It's like, no, sorry, movie doesn't work that way. It, it, it was it was a it was a nice attempt. It was a pathetic attempt, but it was a but th it, that's all it was. It was just a pathetic attempt to try to hide the fact that you that you're being called out. Like the movie literally calls itself out and try uh, whatever again. And then we have it that uh, Wanda tells Doctor Strange to deliver Chavez to her. Why? Why would she need? <clears throat> Why would she need to tell Doctor Strange, who she pretty much knows is not going to do it anyway, and then goes to Camartage with a full affront assault? Like, just, just go, just go and get her yourself. What? Why are you waiting until they're defending, getting all the proper defenses and, and set up when you could just go at any time? And then when she gets the camartage, right? What what's what's Wong's brilliant plan to deal with the Scarlet Witch, who has the ability to re-alter reality? The Scarlet Witch, who has the power to rule or destroy the multiverse, we're gonna take her down with cannons and arrows. And bow and arrows. That's their plan to take down the Scarlet Witch. Gee, I wonder why it failed. Here's an idea. You got Wong, Sorcerer Supreme. You got Doctor Strange. You got the the the, the, uh, the master from the Hong Kong master and the Hong Kong from London. You have four high end with uh, sorcerers. You have the apprentices. Does anybody? Anybody use magic to try to actually take down Wanda? No, that would make sense. That would actually have a chance of succeeding. No, the only magic that they use is creating a magical dome. Even Dr. Strange and Wong are seeing this. Do they offer any assistance to help? No. This is... Sorry, just... Two Sorcerer Supremes that can't use magic because then that would actually, you know, possibly stop Wanda. So <laughs> let's take down, let's take down the Scarlet Witch with cannons and bow and arrows. Hey, hey, movie. Just because it worked in um, Shang-Chi doesn't mean it's going to work in this movie. Because it's, cause it, guess what? It was stupid in, in Shang-Chi and it's just as stupid in this movie, okay? Oh, okay. Uh, before Wanda goes to uh, Camartage, right? While she's still talking to Doctor Strange, I, I love this. She asks him this question. Now, the point of this question is to try to explain the motivation, Wanda's motivation. Unfortunately, it is such a broken question. It literally reveals that Marvel and Disney have no idea and do not care how the multiverse works. It's sim The multiverse is simply a, a, a gimmick now. It is a deus ex machina. Because because here's the question. Here's the question. She, she asks Dr. Strange, if you knew there was a universe where you were happy, wouldn't you want to go there? How does that how does that work, Wanda? 
How is that supposed to work? Again, I, I, I honestly believe I actually have to break this down and explain how this doesn't make any sense. Okay? So, the MCU Doctor Strange, okay, uh, is, a, is, is not happy because he missed out on, you know, being with Christine. Okay? So, we have, a, we have MCU Doctor Strange who is lonely and depressed. Okay? If he knew that there was a universe where he was happy, well, no. If there was a universe where he was happy, it would be a variant Doctor Strange who was happy, not the MCU Doctor Strange. You, I, 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 I can't believe I have to explain this to you, movie. Movie, movie. The Doctor Strange, the MCU Doctor Strange, can't be in another universe, be happy in that other universe, and then go to that universe so that he could be happy in that universe. That is literally what this movie is trying to actually say. I, I, again, if, if MCU Doctor Strange is, the, is a lonely, depressed Doctor Strange and goes to another universe and there's a, and that Doctor Strange is happy, it wouldn't be the lonely, depressed Doctor MCU Strange. It would be the very Doctor Strange from that universe. So if the depressed, lonely MCU Doctor Strange goes to another universe where that variant Doctor Strange is happy, how does that help the lonely, depressed MCU Doctor Strange? It doesn't. But because the MCU, or because Marvel and Disney have no idea how to make the, how the, they don't care how to make the, they have no intention or interest and actually even making the multiverse work. Again, I know it's a small little thing, but this is a, another example of how a small little thing literally breaks the whole, the entire concept of what, of what the multiverse is. It literally is the movie admitting and confessing it doesn't know what it's doing and it doesn't care. It has no interest in how to make the multiverse work. The multiverse is a gimmick. <clears throat> it's a deus ex machina. <clears throat> it's so that they can do and, and say whatever the hell they want. And it's like, well, how does that work? Multiverse. How does it work? Magic. It's, again, it's a throwaway line that is so broken. It literally breaks the entire foundation. Of, again, this is supposed to be a throwaway line to help justify Wanda's motivation, yet ends up revealing that the Marvel doesn't know what it's doing. I, I know I'm harping on it, but again, it's a small thing, but it's a big thing because it reveals that the Marvel has no idea what it's doing. That's why this movie is such bullshit and so broken and stupid. Oh, and, and speaking of throwaway lines, okay, that are absolute bullshit, okay, is in that conversation, right, Doctor Strange goes to uh, Wanda and says, if you take her power, that'll kill her. How? Why? H how do you know this, Doctor Strange? You've only known Chavez for 10 minutes, and suddenly now you know how her powers work? I, I, no, how? Well, see, here's the problem. The movie has no goddamn clue how to explain how Doctor Strange would even know this. It's literally a plot element. They needed to have a plot element to go, oh, we need to have Doctor Strange keep Chavez alive. Well, how do we do it? Um... We'll have it that if they take her, if Wanda takes her power, it'll kill her. Oh, okay. How does Doctor Strange, you know, find this out? Uh, I don't know. Okay, then we'll just skip it. We'll just have him. <laughs> it's just the movie having these characters say these bullshit lines. I, 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 again, like with Ponytail Doctor Strange going, uh, I can control the power. Does the movie explain how Ponytail Doctor Strange knows that he can do this? Well, of course not, 
because the movie doesn't even know <clears throat> the movie doesn't know how to explain it because it can't. It's the same reason that Wanda goes. Wanda is able to know that Chavez exists. How does how does the movie explain how Wanda knows Chavez exists? Of course not, because the movie doesn't know how to explain it. So it's just it's just pulling shit out. It's just pulling crap out of its ass. Okay, hoping that you you know you Marvel zombie fanboys and the you brain dead general audience moviegoers are either not going to notice or more likely you don't care anyway. Okay, but you see, here's the problem though. Uh, you know, uh, Marvel. Some of us did notice, and some of us do care because. Uh, uh, I hate, as, as you may not realize this, but I actually want to like these movies. I like superhero movies. I like, I like the MCU. I want them to have movies that don't require me to bang my head against the wall and become comatose to make it through. Okay. I want them to be, I want to enjoy these movies, but these movies have absolute, again, Somebody that actually has an intelligence level and cohesive thought is not their target audience. Their target audience are you MCU fanboys, you brain dead general audience moviegoers who don't give a rat's ass. You're the target audience. So these movies can do whatever the hell they want. And it doesn't matter to you guys because you're either too stupid to realize all the stupid in this movie. Or even if you do notice the stupid, you don't care anyway. So why should why why should the MCU actually put any effort into writing a cohesive story that doesn't require brain dead stupid? You you as an audience are told if told the uh, Disney do whatever the hell you want. We're too stupid to actually have a viewpoint of our own to actually care anyway. It's... Oh, th th then we have the fact that Wanda was literally. Doing nothing while uh, Wong took Chavez to Camartage. What 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 was Wanda's plan to just sit there and go? I'm gonna wait until Doctor Strange comes to me and asks me for my help. How how did how did she know Doctor Strange was gonna come to her for her to even go? Hey, why don't you just bring her to me? Like I, I, again. How does this movie, like, how does anybody know what's going on in this movie? Like, literally. So in other words, Juan says to Chavez, we need to take you to Camar uh, Camar Camartage. Okay. Now remember, Wanda, apparently, according to this movie, can track uh, Chavez. So Wanda re is, 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 is noticing that, she's, that Chavez is being taken to Camartage. And Wanda is going, oh, well. I guess I'll just stay here and pretend to, uh, you know, prune these uh, magically fake apple trees until Doctor Strange shows up. I, I, wait. I, again, it, the only way this movie works, and I have to constantly repeat it, and I will constantly repeat it. The only way the plot and story of this movie works is if you shut your brain off because any type of going, how does any of this work or how does any of this make sense? It just doesn't apply. It just doesn't apply. Oh, and then, <clears throat> then we have the fact that we go back to Camartage and Wong is telling his students how powerful, uh, you know, the Scarlet Witch is. And I'm going, okay, well, if she's that powerful, why doesn't she just recreate the vision? She, she's upset. She's going, oh, I've lost so much. The vision was taken away from me. You now have the power of the dark hold. You now have the power to realter reality. You have the power to, you know, again, this is the movie making sure that everybody knows how dangerous and powerful Wanda is. Well, if she's this goddamn powerful, why don't you, why doesn't Wanda go seeing as how the vision was taken from me? And I now have the power of the uh, of of the Infinity Gauntlet. Just recreate the vision and bring them back. Well, no, that would because again, can't do that. That would make sense. That would work. That would actually have value to it. So again, 
I, I just, oh my god. I, just going through this movie again is giving me an aneurysm. So anyway, uh, we have Wanda. She's taken out most of the apprentices at Karmataj. And she's now on the roof of Karmataj. Oh, okay. Now, the reason I want to bring up this example and the reason I love this scene is because it is a blatant, blatant example of how the movie wants to go from what wants to go from one scene to the next scene and has absolutely no idea how to transition from one scene to the next and doesn't give a damn that it doesn't know how to transition from one scene to the next the example being the scene the the the, the, the pre the, the 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 first scene is uh Wanda is now on the roof of Karmataj Right. And she's scanning to find out where Chavez is. Right. And the next scene that the movie wants is that Wanda is now going to be in the trap room. Well, how are they going to get Wanda from the rooftop to the trap room? They have no goddamn idea how to do it. And they don't care that they don't know how to do it. Because what happens in the movie? Wanda is on the roof, closes her eyes, opens her eyes, and now all of a sudden, she's in the trap room. Well, how did she get there? Who can't? Who knows? Who cares? Because there's only two viable possibilities on how she got, okay, to the trap room. <clears throat> One is, well, she teleported there. She closed her eyes, teleported, and ended up in the trap room. Well, Why? Why would Wanda teleport to the trap room? It doesn't make any sense for Wanda to teleport to the trap room. She knows where Chavez is. She would have teleported to the room where Chavez is. The only other possibility is they teleported her to the trap room. Well, how did they do that? How were they able to do that? And if they are able to somehow be able to teleport uh, Scarlet Witch to the trap room, why didn't they do that before Wanda started killing all of the uh, the apprentices? If, 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 if uh, Wong or Doctor Strange or whoever had the ability to teleport Wanda to the trap room against her will, when she started killing all the apprentices, why didn't you put teleporter to the trap room? So again, th this is the movie going, we don't know what the hell we're doing and we don't care. How does Wanda get to the trap room? You don't, nobody know, the movie doesn't know and the movie doesn't care. Th this is the movie going, this is what we want. And this is what, and this is how it's going to happen. And we don't care how stupid it is. We don't care about how it doesn't make any sense because they're probably they're most likely counting on the fact that you as an audience aren't even going to notice, or more likely, even if you do notice, you're not going to give a rat's ass anyway, right? Uh, oh, I, another example of the movie going. This is what's going to happen because this is what we say so, and we don't give a rat's ass. Is uh, but before Wanda gets to the room, right? Uh, Doctor Strange is, tr is about to try and create a portal, but all of a sudden, uh, his sling ring magically start start starts to disappear, and it's like whoop, whoop, whoop. because the movie is going, we don't want Doctor Strange to create a portal to be able to escape, and the only the only thing we could come up with is Wanda is just gonna have is just gonna cause his sling ring to disappear. You just established that Wanda now can do this. You just, a, a movie, you just established that Wanda can now project her magic or her witchcraft and doesn't even have to be in the goddamn room. <clears throat> well, if she can do that, why would she bother with just getting rid of Doctor Strange's ring? If she can project her witchcraft, and not even have to be in the goddamn room, why not just create, like, binding spells 
to just entwine and capture uh, Doctor Strange, Wong, and Chavez. Yeah. Oops. So uh, Doctor Strange and Chavez are in the new universe, and I I'm skipping a lot of the little stupids because I don't want to get bogged down in it, and uh, I, I just want to focus on you know the big stupid, or if it's a little stupid, it's just a little, it's just the ones that I find particularly humorous, and I just want to point out. One of them being uh, uh, the scene in the new universe with the uh, street vendor. Now, the reason I want to bring this up, the reason I love this scene is because just like how uh, the movie inadvertently having Wanda just get rid of uh, the, the sling ring inadvertently established an incredibly powerful power set without, her, without the movie actually realizing it. The movie does kind of the same thing in regards to the street bender because the street bender ends up getting, you know, ends up getting into the, in, uh, in Dr. Strange's face and Dr. Strange just casts that little innocent nothing spell where uh, the street bender is just punching himself, right? I get it. I know it's supposed to be a throwaway scene. What could possibly be wrong? The problem is, is that little spell okay, inadvertently causes a big issue, ends up causing a problem, not for this movie, but for No Way Home. You see, the, in Multiverse of Madness, the movie establishes that Doctor Strange has this innocent little spell that causes the, the, the recipient to uncontrollably punch themselves in the face. Well, that's interesting because that would have been really helpful in No Way Home against Peter Parker when Peter was trying to steal the box. Right? You know, you see, you see what I mean? Like, if, if, if instead of doing those incredible spells of trying to separate, you know, Peter's spirit from the body. And, and trying to cast all these mag, all these uh, useless abilities that Peter Parker, Spider Man, was able to defeat. Just cast this I, as Spider Man is trying to swing away or whatever. Just cast all Doctor Strange had to do was cast that really innocent nothing spell that would cause Spider Man to uncontrollably punch himself in the face. And guess what? You would have rendered Spider-Man helpless. He'd have been on the street just doing nothing but punching himself in the face. And then Doctor Strange could have just walked up to him, grabbed the box, and go, okay, you're done. Oops. I, I, again, I, 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 I know it's a little thing, but it's like, this is the problem with, this is why continuity matters. This is why continuity is a big deal. You can't just have Doctor Strange in another movie establish that he has a spell that would have been relevant in another movie, but because the writers of that movie didn't come up with that gag, didn't incorporate that spell. Sorry, doesn't work that way, okay? This is a shared universe. This is a, this is a universe that has continuity. So what happens in one movie is relevant to another movie. So, uh, again, it's not a big deal. I was just saying, hmm, interesting how Doctor Strange has this spell. Would have been really helpful in No Way Home, don't you think? Then we have Wanda. Oh, I love this. So Wanda is dreamwalking, right? <clears throat> it's the scene in Wonder Girl where uh, Wanda's dreamwalking and Wong is captured and that black assistant, uh, that black female assistant, uh, ends up destroying the Darkhold. Now, this, this, is, this is yet another example of the movie not knowing what the hell it's doing. So the movie has that... The, that, that assistant, that apprentice, sorry, not assistant, the apprentice destroy the, the Darkhold. Now, 
The movie actually has it that because the dark hold has been destroyed, Wanda can no longer dreamwalk. Okay? And the movie's go and the movie has it so that Wanda's going to Wong and goes, I need another copy of the Dark Hole. Okay? And Wong goes, Well, I can't give you another copy, but I can take you to where the original uh stone carvings that were, you know, put into the dark hole, where that is. Except here's the problem. Here's the problem, movie. What you just did, what you inadvertently did and didn't realize or don't care is that you established, okay, that Wanda doesn't need the, 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 the ruins or the spell. She needs the dark hold. She needs the dark hold and needs to, I, I don't know, channel the magic or the energy from the dark hold to be able to dreamwalk because the only reason she was no longer able to dreamwalk was because the apprentice destroyed the dark hole. Well, without the dark hole to draw the energy from, she can't dreamwalk anymore. Oops. So Wanda just going to Wondergore where all the, the ruins or the carvings are on the wall isn't going to help. It isn't going to help. She needs the dark hold to be able to do it. So the movie has it so that the apprentice destroys the dark hold so that she can't dreamwalk and then goes, well, she doesn't even really need the dream, the, the dark hold anyway, to be able to dreamwalk anyway. So what, what was the value of the apprentice destroying the dark hold? When you end up establishing, she doesn't need the dark hold to dream walk anyway. <laughs> this movie doesn't know what it's doing. It, it doesn't. It, it, <clears throat> not only does it not know, it doesn't care. Because you as an audience, you don't know and you don't care. Now... We have to, unfortunately, talk about the Illuminati. Now, um, I, had, uh, I have a ton of notes that I, I just, I absolutely hate how the Illuminati was presented in this movie, how they were done. Like, the Illuminati in this movie was absolute trash and i could easily spend easily spend over a half an hour tearing apart the illuminati but luckily i actually came up with an easier way of explaining how absolutely pathetic and irrelevant and useless and ridiculous the Illuminati is in this movie. And it's this. You could cut every scene involving the Illuminati from this movie. Every scene. I, and I'm serious. No matter every scene in which they say anything or talk about anything or do anything, you could cut it and nothing changes in the movie. That is is how ridiculous and irrelevant the, the Illuminati is in this movie. There's, a, there's really only one line that actually has any value, and that's <clears throat> when Professor X tells uh, uh, Doctor Strange that uh, their Doctor Strange created a waypoint to the Book of Vashanti. The thing is, it's, it's not like Professor X tells Doctor Strange where it is or how to get there. Doctor Strange has to go to Christine to do that. So they could easily have just had Christine tell Doctor Strange that uh, their Doctor Strange created a waypoint. Okay? I'm serious. <clears throat> uh, 
the actual existence of the Illuminati serves no purpose because they end up dying anyway. The whole trial thing is irrelevant because it, it, it never goes anywhere anyway. The whole spiel about how uh, about the incursions or anything and how do- or like how Doctor Strange is the biggest threat in the multiverse. But, uh, who cares that, they're the bi- that he's the biggest threat in the multiverse? It's not like the Illuminati are going to the other universes and taking out the Doctor Stranges. They're just sitting on their Earth waiting for random Doctor Stranges to randomly appear on their universe. Okay, the whole idea about the incursions, okay, makes no relevant is irrelevant because the movie doesn't even the, the movie doesn't even care about the incursions because you had Chavez go through what seventy two universes that doesn't cause any problems. She had to have spent year a couple of years in some of them that wasn't breaking down uh, the universes. And, and at the end of the movie, you got the um. You know, post credit scene where Clea, Clea shows up, you know, cuts a hole and, 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 and creates uh, uh, access to another universe. So e- even the movie doesn't care about the incursions. Nothing in nothing involving any scene in regards to the Illuminati actually has any relevance to the movie. You could cut all of it and not because. Because again, you could have it that you know Baron Mordo, right? Drugs them. They're put again, not not not, not the Illuminati itself, but have it that they're captured, right? Put in the uh, the cages, okay? Skip the trial, skip everything. Just have one to show up, right? Just have one to show up while Doctor Strange and Chavez are still in the box in the boxes, and then just have Christine free them. And then tell them about the, the waypoint to get to the Book of Ashanti. Done. You've you've you, you you've literally you've literally eliminated the Illuminati for that. You could have just had Baron Mordo do that. Again, it's not like the movie had to explain why he did it because Christine explains why they did it. Okay, you're captured because you're from another universe, and you could create and you could have you know, diseases or pathogens, actually referencing the Illuminati is irrelevant. They, Baron Mordo simply captured them to bring them to Christine to, to quarantine them. And that's it. Oh, and, and here's another little funny thing. So <laughs> and I, I, I could not figure it for the life of me. I cannot understand what's going on. So... You have uh, Wanda, right, chasing Doctor Strange, Chavez, and Christine. And Wanda's hobbling. And I'm going, why are you hobbling? You can fly, bitch. Fly. Fly. And how did you get hurt? And not only that, you went, I, I, after she gets doused, after, after Doctor Strange drowns her in the tunnel with the water, what happens? She's healed again. So so why is she hobbling? <laughs> I, I'm watching her hobble. I'm going, why are you hobbling? How are you hobbling? Uh, levitate, fly, something. No, it's it's more dramatic if Wanda is is you know is hobbling. It was just, uh, I'm sorry, it was just ridiculous. Oh, then then the movie. <laughs> So then this movie has this incredibly pathetic attempt to try to explain why Wanda wants to absorb Chavez's power. Because realistically, right, she doesn't really need to absorb Chavez's power. All she wants Chavez for is have her open up a portal to a specific, you know, to whatever particular universe that Wanda wants to go to and then just send her there and Wanda's fine. You only need Chavez to open up one portal to one universe. 
She has no intention of wanting to come back because she has nothing here. She wants to go to a, 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 a variant universe to be able to take care of somebody else's kids. So why would uh, Scarlet Witch want to absorb <laughs> want to absorb Chavez's power? Here's okay, this this is a good example of giving a choice between not explaining why you're doing something and actually ex and then or, or explaining why you're doing it. This movie's better off not explaining. I swear to God. This movie is better off not explaining what it's doing because when it actually tries to explain it, it's so pathetic. It's like, here's why, here's why the movie wanted Scarlet Witch to absorb the, 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 the power of Chavez. In case her kids get sick, she wants to be able to have access to the multiverse, so that way she could find a cure. Exactly what type of illness are you expecting your kids to actually have that cannot be restored or, or, or fixed with medical science or, oh, I don't know, the power of the dark hold that allows you to alter reality. So, so let me see if I get this straight. She needs the ability to go to other multiverses or other universes in case her kids get some kind of, I, I don't even know, that cannot be restored through medical science or her ability to alter reality. <laughs> this, this is the best they could come up with. <laughs> I love this movie. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Hold on a second. So... Then we have Doctor Strange get a hold of the Dark Hold, right? And can now use the Dark Hold. Um, movie how? You see, the Dark Hold, okay, requires knowledge in witchcraft. Doctor Strange, okay, has absolutely no knowledge of witchcraft. He's a sorcerer and knows how to use sorcery. He doesn't know how to use witchcraft. Tough! The movie doesn't care. The movie needs a Doctor Strange to know how to use the dark hold, and damn it, Doctor Strange is gonna learn, is gonna know how to use the dark hold. This is the movie, once again, this is the movie using the multiverse as a gimmick, using magic, as a gimmick. How does it work? It's magic. We can do whatever the hell we want. We don't care. Okay, now, here's, I, I have, I, 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 it's a point by point uh, thing because I, I love this and I have, to, I, have to go, I have to go through points on this. So, we have the scene where Scarlet Witch is drawing the power out of Chavez, okay? That's how it starts. Now, after that, we then have Doctor Strange using the dark hold so that he can, you know, start dreamwalking. Okay? He then has a little conversation with Christine. Now, again, at, while he's, he's learning, he has to, he's got to get this dark hold. As he's having this conversation with Christine, at the exact same time, Scarlet Witch is still draining the power out of Chavez, right? Then Doctor, then Doctor Strange tells Christine to protect his body from the dam. And I'm going, okay, wait a minute. She's a scientist. What is she going to use? Geometry? You know, like Peter Parker did? Well, or, or, or because she's a scientist, what's she going to use? The theory of relativity? I'm going, how is this scientist going to be able to deal with, um, 
you know, the, the, the souls of the undead. And I hate, I hate to, <clears throat> I hate to steal a quote from another YouTuber, but apparently not a problem, barely an inconvenience, right? She literally goes to this case, sees this, whatever the hell it is, knows how to use it, knows what it is, knows how to use it, and then, you know, blows up the, 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 the three uh, souls. Look, good, good thing there was only three souls. Like, why were there only three souls? Who cares? But there was only three souls. And I, I, oh, a, a little, another little thing. So while she's getting that, whatever that magical thing was, all you see are those three, those three spirits just kind of hovering over Dr. Strange. And it's like, what were they doing? Oh, they were easy. It was just a delaying tactic until Christine could kill them. So she kills the spirits. So now uh, Dr. Strange sets up the spell, right? Gets, uh, no, I can't say that. Then Christine gets Dr. Strange to overcome the spirit because all the spirits are kind of converging on him, whatever, right? <laughs> move to it's so hard to say this with a straight face to have Doctor Strange overcome that the movie has Christine basically tell Doctor Strange I believe in you and because she goes I believe in you that suddenly allows Doctor Strange to be able to go, hey, I can now manipulate and control the spirits. I couldn't do it before, but I can now. Now, this is important because it's used again later on in the movie, and I'm pretty sure you know what I'm talking about. And then, uh, and then, okay, now again, while all this is happening, right, what Scarlet Witch is still supposed to be drawing the power from Chavez, except when Doctor Strange, or when, because uh, again, Doctor Strange ends up uh, dreamwalking, getting uh, the the dead ponytail Doctor Strange, gets him, and then bring, and then portals him to Wondergore. Well, by the time, by the time Doctor Strange, or dead ponytail Doctor Strange, gets to Wondergore. We see Chavez and she's fine. Well, what? Ha the, the, that whole sequence started with Scarlet Witch draining the power out of Chavez, and it ends and it ends with Chavez just being fine. What happened to Scarlet Witch drawing the energy, the power out of out of Chavez? Oops! God, uh, for, the, the movie was kind of hoping you wouldn't remember. Sorry, movie. I did. That's why I write down notes. How long does it take to draw the power out of Chavez? Apparently, longer than this. And even then, Wanda Scarlet Witch just decided to stop drawing the energy or the power out of Chavez. I think... It... Whatever. Then Chavez, who for that, then you know, then we have Doctor Strange and Wong dealing with uh, Wanda, and then Doctor Strange <clears throat> goes to Chavez, and now now Chavez, okay, who for years years could not control her power, is now suddenly. <laughs> Able to control her power through the magic of I believe in you. Because Dr. Strange goes to Chavez, I believe in you. You can now control your power. And what happens? Chavez can now control her power. All those years, all those years, the only thing that Chavez needed was a pep talk. And that's all it took. That was the magic to allow Chavez to suddenly be able to learn how to control her power. This is such lazy ass hack, bullshit, brain dead, fifth grade, not even fifth grade mentality, 
bullshit writing. This was this is such a blatant, unapologetic cop out on the part of the movie. And the and the thing is, it's not the only bullshit hack, blatant cop out in the movie. There's like ten minutes left in the movie, and I'm going. How are they going to deal with, with, with the Scarlet Witch? How are they going to, you know, and the movie's going, well, since there's only, <laughs> since there's only 10 minutes left, we're just going to have it that Wanda changes her mind. <laughs> That's how they resolve it. That's how they resolve it. Wanda actually does what, actually gets where she wants. She actually does it, and then when she finally does it, she goes, nah, I guess I don't want to do this anymore. And that's it, and that's how they resolve it. <laughs> this, this movie is pathetic. Oh, and, and, then, and then it ends with now, uh, you know, the Scarlet Witch is good again, and I guess, I guess the, the corruption of the Darkhold isn't as... I don't know, relevant as the movie was trying to pretend it was because she was corrupted by the Darkhold, but then again, the Darkhold was destroyed. So would that not have... Now that I think about it, hold on. If the Darkhold was what was corrupting her and the Darkhold was destroyed, wouldn't that eliminate the corruption, the corrupting abilities of the dark hold in the first place. Like, like, yeah, no, 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 I'm serious. This is interesting. I, I didn't actually, I never thought of this. If the dark hold is what's corrupted Wanda, once that apprentice destroyed the dark hold, shouldn't that have stopped the corruption of Scarlet Witch? Anyway, again, I don't know. I, that's just kind of like an idea, because even even when it's even if it didn't, apparently Wanda decided, ah, I don't really care about the corrupting powers of the Darkhold. I'm not going to do it anymore. I'm now going to destroy every Darkhold. So e even the corrupting power, even if the Darkhold was still corrupting her, even the corrupting power of the Darkhold is apparently you can just ignore it whenever you feel like it. And then we have the end scene with Chavez. For some reason, decides she's going to stay at Camartage and learn how to be a sorcerer. Uh, I, I, it's, not that I have a, it's not that I have a problem with her wanting to be a sorcerer. It's just that she doesn't she, I, I thought she wanted to go find her parents. I thought she wanted to go find her parents. Now that she's able to control, you know, her, her, her power, wouldn't, you know, uh, the number one thing on her to-do list would be to try to find her parents? Nah, because the movie that wants her to stay in the MCU, so the movie, so, so her, whole, her whole sad sack origin story literally has no relevance to the movie to the MCU and to Chavez. The movie literally has Chavez not even care about her parents anymore because they need her to stay in the MCU. And anyway, uh, yeah, so that's Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. It's this. It's, it's, uh, I, I don't know what else to say. I don't, I don't know what's left to say. I'm, I'm done. I, I, This is a dumbass movie. This was bullshit stupid. I, I, I'm done. I don't know what else to say. I'm I'm tired. I'm done. I'm 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 worn out. This 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 took it this took a lot more out of me than I thought it would. I mean, there's there was still a lot of stupid that I didn't cover, and there there was a ton there's tons of stupid just with the Illuminati, but I kind of skipped over that because again, I just I, 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 I just, I'm done. I, I, I've had it. Um, uh, 
for all of you who made it this far, thank you for making it this far. Uh, I appreciate it. Uh, but that's it for me. I'm out of here. See ya.